So let's come into child's pose with your hips over your heels, your arms outstretched, and just relax yourself down. Ease your stomach, ease your chest, even lay your forehead and just breathe. From here, we're gonna walk both hands to one side, send the hips in the opposite direction, just to change the angle of your stretch. Walk the hands round to the other side, send the hips the other direction so that we create a diagonal pull here of your stretch. And then come up. We're gonna come onto all fours. We're gonna take our thread the needle for some rotation. So taking one hand, we're gonna thread down and then we're gonna rotate open to the ceiling. Let's take a breath in and a breath out. One more. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's switch to the other side. So we reach down low and then come around open through the chest and the shoulders. Get this shoulder as low to the floor as you feel comfortable doing so. And last time. Lengthen tall. Coming into our glute stretch for the hips, we're gonna take one leg underneath us, set up like an upside down V, but get this bottom on the floor, straighten out, and then just lower your chest over the top of this knee. We breathe out. Now, as you sink lower there, you want to just remind that hip to let go, to ease, to relax. Just release any tension. And if you want a deeper stretch, come round towards your shin or your toes. And then carefully come out of here. We'll take that over to the other side. So stretch this leg out, lower your chest and relax. If you want that deeper stretch, round to your shin or toes. Good, gently coming up from here, we're gonna come up onto our knees. We're gonna take a big wide step forward and bring the hips through. But feel the lift from your chest, that lift up from the ground underneath you. So we don't want to be collapsing down into the back. You're really stacked up tall, feeling the stretch on this back hip flexors. And then take the hands down towards the mat. We're gonna plant this hand. We're gonna rotate towards your knee just to enjoy a bit of a spine stretch too. And then come back. From there, shift the weight back. So we straighten out this front leg. Eye gaze is down towards your ankle. Just feeling that tension through our hamstrings. Come back into our lunge stretch. This time take the arms up, open through the chest, maybe even bend through the elbows slightly. Just ease into the stretch as much as it feels good for you and then take one more hamstring stretch. Send the weight back, eye gaze towards your ankles. And then gently release. Switching those legs over, start with your wide step forward. Weight comes forward, but we lift. That sense of lift through the pelvis, shoulders are back, hips square to the front of your mat, and then bring the hands to the floor. Take the hands nearest the knee up to the ceiling. Just enjoy that spine twist and then come back. We're gonna send that weight backwards. So we straighten out that leg, encourage the bottom to push back behind us. Come forward once again, lengthen tall through the chest. 
and then once again bring those arms upwards, widen the elbows, drop them slightly. And release, sending that weight back behind us. Shoulders relaxed and then carefully come out of there. We're going to come into sitting, offset your legs so that we have two V shapes here, but get your bottom equal on the floor so that you're level through both hips. We're going to lengthen tall through the spine for our mermaid side stretch and we're going to come up and over. So really stretch through this arm as far as we can. And then we're going to take it up to the other side. Always feels a bit more unnatural to go this way. And then come back up. We're going to swap those legs over. Just readjust your bottom position. Line up your spine tall and then come up and over. And feel the stretch from that hip bone waist all the way to your fingertips. And then we'll come up and over to the other side. Good, come out from there. We're just gonna pop back onto hands and knees to take a quick cat cow to loosen everything off. So we're gonna arch the back up to the ceiling and then we're gonna let the stomach come down, let the back curve. And then we arch, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone, let it come back out and again, regulating your breathing nice and slow. And then from here, we're going to come into sitting just to finish with our chest stretch. So lengthening tall through your spine, you can sit however it feels comfortable. We're going to float those arms up, widen at the top here and then back down again. Take a nice big breath outwards as we reach and an inhale and once more reach through your fingertips and then relax. Give everything a real good shake off. I hope you're feeling nice and loose and stretched out after that um, and I hope I'll see you soon.